I got a phone call and it messed me all up. So sorry about that. Hopefully you all come back over here. Okay, so hey, Mariah, thanks for coming back. Yeah, it, it, got, it got busted up, but let me tell you, since it did that, I was able to check the analytics. Anybody wanna guess? Guess how many hours I got already. Remember, 4,000 hours is what you need to get monetized. How many, guess how many hours I got uh, from y'all watching just that other stream? How many hours you think I got? Let's take a guess. Whoa, 6360? That's close. No, not 150. I got uh, <laughs> 51, 51 hours. So that's badass. That's good. Who said that? <laughs> where is that at? Who, let me see. Wait, that was funny, man. Wait, yeah. Who said that? Was that you with the pink hair wig playing that we got the beat? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was me. <laughs> so you see what I look like, huh? <laughs> that's kick. That was me. I play the bass and I play, uh, you know, I play the guitar and all. So that was, and that was really me playing too. Yeah, so, so, uh, would water from other areas, of, uh, you know, not really, not really, you, you, yeah, rotifers can eat other rotifers, so other areas of the continent, I mean, unless you go to Antarctica or somewhere, you're gonna see the same stuff everywhere, you know, these things are diverse, but, you know, they really can survive anywhere. Yeah, I looked at blood before. Uh, <laughs> you've been to Antarctica? I haven't. <laughs> but you can even, they even dig down in the Antarctic ice and they find these things. So these things can survive anywhere. I still got, this is still polarized light. Wow, no kidding. Boy, can you imagine, you know, I mean, it's over for me. I'm never going to be able to leave my home and work. Yeah, I'm just too old and, and I got my grandkids and my kids I'm still raising. Oh, my God. So I'm in deep here, so I'm never going to be able to go to Antarctica. <laughs>
What is my, what's been my, I, I didn't travel much. I, I've been, I've never been further north than uh, Virginia, and I went there for a funeral. So paramecium poop, that was cool. Uh, so I've never been further north than Virginia. I've never seen a mountain in my life. Uh, I've seen hills, I've seen the Smoky Mountains, if you want to count that, but I've never seen a real mountain. I've never seen an ocean, okay, uh, an ocean. I've seen the Gulf. I've never seen the Atlantic Ocean. I've never seen the Pacific Ocean. So, you know, my my two kids, I don't want to see their the, the special but they took a lot of life out of me. They, they needed a lot of guidance. And it was, you know, thank God one of them's in law school now. One of them has a haircutting uh, license, so it worked out. And one of them has a baby that I'm halfway raising. I just was never able to travel. Maybe, maybe I can, you know, maybe, maybe soon I can. I'm not that old. Uh, I'm getting up there, but I'm not that old. Yeah, six weeks holiday a year and their jaws dropped. Yeah, let me tell you, it's rough here. You know, you, you got to work your ass off here. Uh, uh, two, you know, after, after you work for a company for two years, five years, whatever it may be, you know, you sign up for, you get two weeks va vacation. Um, uh, the best, I hate to keep, I, you know, Apple does some stuff I don't agree with, you know. I don't want to get into politics and all that. I, I will not do that. But Apple is the best company as far as vacation time and 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 how they allowed you to buy stock for your retirement and all. They really they really were good about it. So I'm happy with them. But you know, some of the stuff they do aggravates me. The rest of us come to New Orleans when we travel. Yeah, that's right. New Orleans is a big. Uh, is a big a big place here. It's it's fun. My days of going down to the French Quarter are long over. Those those have been going a long time ago. But I tell you what, I've drank a lot of that puddle water in the French Quarter <laughs> over the years. And let me tell you something. You know, there, there's you know the French Quarter is actually might go soon since I have family. Yeah, slide out. Yeah, that's not too far. That's right there. Yeah, notice in this polarized light how that paramecium uh, glows there. Oh, God. Stum biz. Uh, I mean, I had gumbo today. <laughs> so I had shrimp and okra gumbo. I mean, today. Uh, you know, it's just, to us, it's just, you don't even think about it. I mean, I like shrimp. Anything with shrimp in it, fried shrimp, you know, like Bubba Gump. I'll eat anything with shrimp in it. So I actually had gumbo for lunch, and then for dinner, I actually got a shrimp sandwich. <laughs> so, yeah, there's going to be different creatures. Uh, you're not going to find paramecium, so to speak, like this in Gulf water. But you're going to see all kinds of different things in Gulf water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, po' boy. That's right. I had, a shrimp, I had gumbo for lunch and shrimp po' boy for, for uh, dinner. <laughs> so um, I'm ensconced. I'm, I'm, I'm here to stay, you know. Anybody want to go? Oh, look, look at this guy. You remember him? <laughs> yeah, you can see diatoms. I don't have any in here. I don't see any floating by, but yeah, you see them sometimes. Uh huh. Yeah, this is actually a uh, a copepod. He's related. We were just talking about shrimp. He is related to a shrimp. <laughs> He's related to a lobster, a shrimp, a crab. He's actually got two shells. If you look at him long ways, you can see the shells on him. Uh, sometimes he'll move around. Yep. 
And the reason he's got a lot of minerals. Hey, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, the guy from Russia or girl from Russia, thanks a lot. So you can see the minerals in this guy glowing like crazy. And what he does, he just, his mouth is right under. Okay, look, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put this on low power right here. And I'm going to leave for a second. I got to go text my sister. She's, uh, she's texting me. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Are we sticking with the Scope Squad? <laughs> uh, what is that, a new name for my channel? I, I asked for names. <laughs> so there you go. So this guy is, uh, he's, he's pretty, isn't he? Look at that. Yeah, Microbine. I think that might be eggs on the back of him. Check it out. So I can look up that, look up copepod eggs. He might be having some eggs sticking out of the back. Skid scope squad. There you go. I'm trying to think if, if copepod is really the name for this one. Copepods usually are those cyclops looking guys, but uh, I'm, I'm forgetting what the name of these, specifically these are right here. Um, let me think, copepod. Uh, boy, I can't think of the name. Ugh, it aggravates me, man, really, when I can't think of something. But I gotta believe Ostracod, there it is. Who's that? Boomer? Man, you're the man. A woman. I don't know if you're a man or a woman. Ostracod. There you go. I keep saying copepod. <laughs> so let me look up ostracod eggs. Yeah, I don't see anything, any pictures of the eggs hanging on, but that is something back there. We're looking at something. Oh, I did say ostracod. I get confused, man. Skid Scope Squad. There you go. We'll, we'll think about that. 
I, so I got to believe, really, really believe that this is something to do with his reproductive system here. You ready to go to bed, girl? Look, what is this? <laughs> My granddaughter just came in. How did you get into this unlikely hobby? Come see. What is that? What is that? What is that? Water bear. Can you say ostracod? Ostracod. <laughs> Tell everybody, now. say hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> say, peace out. Good night. <laughs> Are we going to put, put Scarlet to bed? Say, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Good night, okay. everybody. Okay, I'm gonna leave the stream running. I'll be right back. Come on. Oh, I see in the night. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, you didn't, you didn't wanna you didn't watch earlier. Can you tell me somebody earlier? Yeah. Can you tell me somebody earlier? Yeah, so we can see what you
All right, gang, 27 viewers. I'm still back. I'm gonna give me a one more drink here. Uh-oh, I took my glasses off. Sorry about that. Hang on, I gotta go find my glasses or I can't see what y'all fighting. <laughs> I got I got the baby monitor down here. Do y'all hear her? She talks and talks and talks till she passes out. So here's the ostracot again. So there you go. Hey, you're still here. How do you say your name in English? <laughs> you must be talking to a guy from Russia. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Spa. I'll do that. Give me any suggestions that you have, so surely I'll do any of that. Thanks, Michael. Thanks a lot. Do y'all want to go check out that other lava? You want to go check out that big beast on the other side of the slide? Or you want to just keep checking out some things here? Let me see if I can find... All right, so somebody said yes. Let's go check out the beast. Let me show you this real quick. This is a, this is a, uh, this is cyanobacteria right here. You see that thing right there? That is cyanobacteria, and it's bacteria that acquired the ability to make oxygen. Um, and that's responsible for all the oxygen on Earth. Uh, from it started about two three billion years ago without that you wouldn't be here So there you go. That's cyanobacteria It's actually a, a, a It's not one. That's a that's a, a, a Colony of bacteria right there So there you go, so I always like to show this uh, cyanobacteria <laughs> so Let's go see if we can find the beast. I'll call him the beast. I'm a, I'm a zoom out. Yeah, without trees, but cyanobacteria came way before trees, way before. Although he, he went over to the, let me, uh, let me get this out of here. I'm gonna add another drop of water here. Hang on. This guy is just chilling out over here. Look at him. Oh, yeah, yeah, you saw the tsunami? <laughs> yeah, look at Anita said, whoa. Let me, uh, let me get my polarizer on. Hang on. There you go. Look at that. That... You know, I, I got to say, some things are worth looking at, but some things are worth a dollar. <laughs> so this this actually makes it worthwhile. I, I, I like looking. What is this? You said we could see this one with the naked eye, right? Or was that a di No, this one, you can, I, I can, I can see him because I know what I'm looking at. He's right on the edge of the slide, so I know he's right on the edge of the slide right here. So I could see this guy, and and you would be able to to see him too. If, if you were here and I was showing you this slide, you'd see this one. This one's huge. Look look at this ostracod right here. Okay, he's huge. Let me show you. I'm trying to see if anything else is on here that's microscopic. I mean, this guy is just just a, a giant. <laughs> of course, the different. Let me see. Yeah, all right. So here's a paramecium. This guy right here, you cannot see with, I mean, you, you can't see him. You can't see him with the naked eye right here. Okay. This one, look how much bigger he is. 
okay? That paramecium is probably as big as one of these things right there. See that little spike right there? Okay, so, so that's how big a paramecium is compared to this guy. And from reading, from reading things, uh, from reading things and all, I think uh, this, this is from reading things, I think that light, the light you see is muscles uh, or what would be considered muscles, okay? Look, see, see where all that bright is? That would be considered as, as muscles, okay? Um, this is polarized light. Let me add another drop of water. I don't think he's stuck there, but he could be. Uh, he's not stuck, he's just sitting there. Cause I, I had enough water here to choke a horse. So. Or drown a horse. Yeah, this is a lot of water. You can see, look, I'm shaking the table. See how I'm shaking the table and the water's jiggling? Whenever the water's jiggling, that means that that slide is floating. So he just, I don't know, for whatever reason, he's being a jackass. And somebody was asking me a question, but I forgot what it was now. He knows we're watching, he ain't missing no meals, no. <laughs> Oh, what filter is this? This is just polarized. I got a, I got a polarized piece of paper on the bottom, and I got a polarizer on the top. And as you as you turn one, it can get less polarized, like that's no polarized, or you can get half polarized, or you can get full polarized, like that. So. And I don't know what, let's see, let's try polarized under, uh, yeah, I'm from New Orleans, Ninth Ward. All right, so this is polarized in black and white or slate, I guess. That's pretty cool. Yeah, po yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, grow above. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty neat right here. It's almost like look like an x-ray. Let's see, crush. And let's look at, I'm just trying a couple of these filters here. Silver, haunt. This is almost like an x-ray of him, huh? Uh, somebody said about, all right, here, here's the deal with kitty litter. Um, let me go back to normal. What'll happen is, uh, with, yeah, with kitty litter, you could look at it and, and see what's in the poop, but you don't want to see anything. If you see anything that looks like, uh, you'd have to know what you're looking for it, that looks like cyst or eggs or something. Um, you don't want to see that in your kitty litter. <laughs> okay. So yeah, by haunt, she meant that that's haunt, but that's haunt under polarized light. This is haunt under unpolarized light. So there you go. So haunt is really good for some stuff. I mean, look, you can see the contrast. Look at those lines of veins or whatever they are in him. You can see all that stuff. Yeah, so you don't want to see anything in your cat poop. If you see anything moving around in your cat poop, you got to go to the vet. <laughs> so, you know, you have hookworms or anything. Yeah, Haunt is pretty good. It's one of my favorite filters here.
and eight millimeter, I just like it, eight millimeter is really cool. Look at that. And but it's it, it, it's in polarized light. Let me let me take the polarizer off. Hang on. Eight millimeter by itself is really cool. I, I really like it. Uh, they got that eight millimeter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's so cool how it looks similar to its adult form, but much smaller. That's right. This thing right here, when it, when it grows into a damselfly or whatever it's going to grow into, it's so much more delicate and, and dainty. It's, it's weird how it does that. But if you didn't hear my story from earlier, I have an aquarium outside that I put my old pond water in when I'm finished with it. About halfway full and I got to keep a screen on top of it so so mosquitoes don't lay their eggs in it and I hadn't looked in it in about four or five days and when I went out there yesterday I I took the screen off to get some water and out popped a, a damselfly it looks like a tiny uh one of those small small dragonfly looking things <laughs> and and the dragonfly flew out of there and it landed on my arm and it, and it sat there for about five minutes uh, before it flew away. So I actually raised that from a, from a lava all the way through to a dragonfly, and he landed on my arm and then flew away. Yeah, this is how your grandparents saw uh, microscopic pets. <laughs> uh, ants, yeah, ants, you got to put them in, in a Petri dish and then cover the Petri dish, and they never stop moving. So if you want me to look at ants one day, I can. Yeah, I can do that. Um, and then you, the thing with ants, you gotta go, uh, I, I, I don't think it takes long. Let me answer. So the ants, yeah, you gotta, you gotta uh, put them back to where you got them or they'll, they'll be crazy. So I, I'll get ants if you want, that, that's pretty good. Uh, an ant is probably, judging by what I'm looking at, a big giant red ant would probably be about his size, but a regular normal ant, like a black ant that might eat some sugar or something, uh, is probably smaller than him. But let's say, just for the sake of saying, let's just say about the same size. Yeah, so this guy, what I, what I told y'all earlier, I'm gonna try to put him in a Petri dish with some water and some other stuff. And when he, when, he, when he morphs into whatever he morphs into, I'm gonna try to take a video of him and uh, see what he turns into. So that'd be interesting, right? Uh, Rotifers. Rotifers are in water, so ants don't usually go swimming in the water. I guess they could, but they're not going to go into the water to, to, to get a rotifer. This is Slate Ray, and you can see why I like YouTube a lot better than Reddit. I mean, just just these fil the the main thing is the main thing is with YouTube, you get a bigger bit rate of data transfer, so the video comes out clearer. Okay, and but with uh, so YouTube and, and they have filters. Okay, so this is actually a filter which is really insane. I mean, this, I really like this. <laughs> I mean, look at that, look how insane. If you're seeing this how I'm seeing it, I mean, this is just, just crazy clear. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy clear. I mean, look at that. I mean, if you were in a science class and had to identify parts of this thing, you, you wouldn't have any trouble with this. It's 
So you two, so you could see why I want to get that other microscope and I want to be monetized on YouTube. Okay, so posting out your uh, you, your Venmo and, and PayPal and all, people have to actually leave your site, they have to go donate. If I can get monetized on YouTube when we're doing these chats and stuff like this, you can send me directly. Now, YouTube will take a cut, okay? But that's fine, you know, they gotta make money too. But like Super Chats, you could say, okay, well, I'm gonna pay Kenny $5 to answer my question. You know, a big question will pop up. You know, I try to answer everything. I won't exclude anybody, but, but you know, it, it'll pay off in the long run. Mouth parts, I don't know why this lunatic is, is under that, that cover slide right there. I wish he'd get out of there because as the water dries up, it's gonna cut his head off. Um, Maybe he's trying to commit bugicide or something. I don't know. Maybe he's tired of putting on a show. <laughs> yeah, he's a lunatic. I mean, it looks like he's trying to commit suicide here. I mean, because if I left him here and the water kept drying up, that's going to crush his skull. Look, somebody's name is the Bug Crusher. <laughs> Yeah, you see that see that line right there? That is if you if you look over here, this is under the cover slide and this is outside the cover slide. So as the water dries up, this cover slide is going to uh keep going down and if he don't move, he's going to get he's going to get cut in half. I mean, he's just a dummy, man. Come on. I mean, I could probably poke him around. Let me try to move the cover slide. Watch. I'm going to try to move it with my finger here. Watch. Well, I'll get a toothpick. Hang on. There. See? I just got... So now he's under the cover slide. <laughs> and I'm going to add another drop of water to the cover slide. Hang on one second. So he's not going to get hurt because I, I keep adding water. I'll put him in the Petri dish when we finish. Um, I want to keep him alive. His head's really, really dark, so you really can't see any structure. But look at his abdomen. Man, this is, this is insane here. Yeah, I mean, y'all getting a treat, whoever's looking at this. You can see his intestines and stuff. I'm just moving a, I'm moving a slide around to make sure he's not uh, being crushed. But he's not. There's a lot of water in here. I, I don't know, maybe he's getting ready to molt into a flying beast. <laughs> And you can see when I open, I open the aperture, there's a little slider under here that I can open and close. Let me put this on dark field. This is called dark field, okay? And, uh oh, what happened? And it puts the light over the top, okay? So this is more like a, how he looks, I don't wanna say in real life, but this darkens the background and lightens and then uh, let me take the filter off here. So when I take the filter off, when you put dark field on, the other one is hella, you talking, Kelvin's talking about my microscope. If that's what you're talking about, it is very expensive. But worth every penny, it will pay for itself in two years. If I get that DIC microscope, I guarantee you I pay for that microscope from streaming in two years. I, I guarantee you. Mariah, it, it makes things 3D, okay? You could see every structure, 
of every animal in 3D. Like if something's higher than something else, you see it. If it's a different color than something else, you see it. It's just crazy. I mean, and it was invented back in the 40s, but it just recently got into the realm of being financially, you know, if I had, if I had to, I guess I could borrow $12,000 on a credit card and, and take a gamble. But, you know, I'm a family man. I don't have that kind of money. If I can get half, I'll, I'll borrow half, and I guarantee you within two years I'll pay it off. Easy, easy. You have people begging to watch my show. <laughs> So this is called dark field. It's just a little filter that that loops it loops some of the light around the top. So I'm gonna take it off a of dark field real quick. And I'm actually gonna go, let's go look for some other stuff. I'm gonna put this on lower power here. Oh, there's my Delaptus. He didn't die. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, Boomer. <laughs> if you give 390, you're golden. Where'd my Deleptus go? I just saw him. So my Deleptus is hiding under this, this thing. Thanks, Mariah. Look, uh, let me tell you. A dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars, that all adds up. And I don't spend it, so I'm keeping it in there, okay? So you will, so if you give $5, if you give $5 two months from now, it's going toward that microscope. And I saw my Deleptus, but he, he disappeared. He ran off. Oh, yeah, don't think that, don't think that I don't appreciate. If you give me a dollar, you, you paid me for doing you know, I went to school, I went to school to uh, be a, a biologist. I've never, thanks Boomer. Uh, I, I've got a biology degree. I never made any money in biology till I started streaming. So you don't know how good that makes me feel that you guys uh, donate here. Now let's go ahead and look at this guy. Yeah, they, they're not stuck, that's what they do. They. Uh, they uh, think they oh look they they stick to stuff like he's swimming off see. So they they just anchor themselves to stuff and they filter that water. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say I, I like live stuff too, and what's weird about you know uh, streaming live? She said it's better than next Netflix. What's good about streaming live for some reason. I get, if you stream live, okay, that's my goal with this microscope, with this DIC microscope. That other channel that has DIC, they don't stream live and all. Now they're a pro channel, okay? So they're gonna, they're gonna get a lot of stuff. They're a pro channel, they put a lot of money into it. But if I, I bet you if I stream live, if I stream live, uh, these creatures live with DIC, I'm gonna get thousands of viewers thousands, maybe tens of thousands, and it's going to be awesome. Those little things, when you say, somebody asks, what are those little things? Give me an idea what you're talking about. Those little bitty things. That's right, Dandy. Uh, it would be awesome. I mean, yeah, that's not the heart. That's part of his eating apparatus. Okay, so those little things swimming around. Let me let me see. I don't know. I can't tell real quick. Let me see. Yeah, those are those little tiny ones right here. Let me see. That is some kind of flagellate algae. They have flagella, and it is it is algae. They're too little for me to really see what exactly they are. But those are more or less mobile algae mm -hmm. ah look what we got ah this guy's back uh, godzilla anybody heard that that song godzilla by uh blue eyes the cult 
That would be a good song for this guy right here, huh? History shows again, they song Godzilla by Blue, Blue Eyes the Cult. At the end, they sing history shows again and again. Look at that. Look, look what he's doing. Wow, check it out. What is that? That's insane. You saw him, he was like swimming. <laughs> I don't know what those things are. <laughs> so, uh, uh, history shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man, Godzilla. Isn't that a great line? History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of man, Godzilla. <laughs> Blue Eyes the Cult. I mean, come on. Look at this. This is insane. He might be ready to morph into a uh, dragonfly here. And just think, you see how those, those little wing things are moving around like that? There's scientists out there, yeah, gonna need more cowbell. There's scientists out there that actually could tell you exactly what this is doing. I mean, there's scientists that study these things. Speaking of cowbell, one of my most popular videos, and in fact, it is the most popular video I have, I have like a 20-second clip of the More Cowbell Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live uh, skit with the More Cowbell, and that gets more views than anything that I've put on. So, yeah, I wish I was one of those scientists too. So there's scientists that study these things, species and all, and they can tell you, okay, when these things are going back and forth, that means this, or that means that. It's insane. And this right here, this is 150X. Isn't that clear? Yeah, that's right. Spa, if, 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 if I'm trying to get monetized and I use that clip, it's a penalty. So if I played that music in this stream right here, they would take all those hours away. They would take them away. Right. So, yeah, you got to be very careful on YouTube. And if you notice, even, even if I sing it, if I sing it in such a way where the algorithm grabs it, it will de, it will throw out my hours for this stream.